The first thing I noticed was that we have a sin 2x over here, and this one is only a sin x, so they're not the same. There's a, and remember, you cannot take this 2 out as a common factor. You never want to do something like that. Rather, you should identify that as a double angle. And so here I see it over here. So what happens is that we've got the 3, then we can say bracket, and then we're going to change this, which is this one here, and we're going to change it into 2 sin x cos x, then we here we've got minus 2 sin x equals to 0. Now I'm going to multiply the 3 into it, 6 sin x cos x. Some of you want to put the 3 over there as well, but that's not correct, because remember this is just one term. Okay, and then it's going to be minus 2 sin x equals to 0. And so now what we can do is take out a common factor. Now the common factor I would see here is 2 sin x, and then you'd be left with 3 cos x minus 1. And so we can now say that, therefore, 2 sin x equals 0, or 3 cos x minus 1 equals to 0. Here on the left, you can divide by 2, and so you're just going to end up with sin x equals to 0. And then for this one, you're going to end up with 3 cos x equals to 1, divide by 3, and end up with a third. Now we need to go look at each of these individually. So I'm going to divide my page into two halves. Now remember in question, in I think it was the previous question, 71 and question 70, we said that whenever this number is a 0, minus 1 or 1, you just want to solve it by using the graph. You don't want to go get quadrants and reference angles and things like that. So if I draw a basic sin graph, I know that it hits 0 here, 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 and if I had to keep going, that would obviously continue. So I can simply say that the answer is going to be, so what you do is you say that this graph will be equal to 0 at 0 degrees, and then every multiple, or let's just see, this is 180, this is 360, this would obviously be 540, so it looks like it jumps every 180 degrees. So we can say that the answer is 0 degrees, which is this one, plus any multiple of 100, 180 degrees after that. And so that is how you would write that answer. Now for this one we use the normal reference angle approach and we know that there's going to be two quadrants and it's where cos is a positive. So if I look on my cos diagram I know that that's quadrant 4 and 1 where cos is positive. So I'll say quadrant 1, quadrant 4, and now we start. So we can say x equals 2. Now in quadrant 1 there is, oh I need to find my reference angle first. And if we have to go find that reference angle, we would find that it's going to be 70.53 degrees. 70.53. So for quadrant 1, you just say 70.53 plus k times 360. k is an element of z. In quadrant 4, you say x equals to 360 minus then your reference angle of 70.53 plus k times 360 k is an element of z, and then I can just simplify this one by saying 360 minus 70.53, and that's going to be 289.47 degrees. And so there's our final answers there, it's this one, this one, and this one.